Okay, so people, I feel I feel I'm gonna stop listening to what other people say, right? I, I'm and the thing with that is is it's not like right, I'm letting people sway me, but I think sometimes, right, you make a choice not to do something and and check something out. And when so many people are saying, actually, it was really good, you think, all right, maybe, maybe I will give it a look. But yeah, I think I'm done. I think I'm done. Because I've just checked out Scream 6. Okay. So the new entry to the, obviously, the Scream franchise. Right, which is, boy, this is old. This has been going for a long motherfucking time, yo. You know what I mean? This first, when did I, I'm trying to even remember when the first friggin' film trail. 96, right? 96 was when the first one hit. Um, yeah, it's been a while, right? Now, there was Scream 5 last year, which I think, believe, went well. So, obviously, they decided to do a new one. Now, this is from Matt Bettinelli-Olpin and Tyler Gillett. Okay, aka Radio Silence, written by James Vanderbilt and Guy Buzik. The film is produced by James Vanderbilt, William Sharrock, Paul Neinstein. It is executive produced by Gary Barber, Courtney Cox, Kathy Conrad. Ron Lynch, Marianne Madalena, Peter Olatagagur, Chad Viella, and Kevin Williamson. Sven Faulkner and Brian Tyler handled the music. Brett Jokowicz, cinematography. Jay Presidney edited the piece, while Rich Della handled casting duties. Production design is from Michel Labarette. Art direction, we have Matthew Gigeri, Philippe Lord, and Veronic Veronic Munier. Right, set decoration, Vincent Ad, Suzanne Clouter, Louise Dandenu, and Lee Valerie Letourney. Costume design is Avery Plows. So our cast. We have got Melissa Barrera as Sam Carpenter. Jenna Ortega as her younger sister, Tara Carpenter, right? Um, Jasmine Savory Brown is back as Mindy Meeks Martin. And Chad Meeks Brown, her brother, is again played by Mason Gooding. Right? We've got um, Courtney Cox as Gail Weathers. There is... um, Jack Champion as Ethan Landry, who is Chad's roommate. Um, Liana Libertio is Quinn Bailey, and that is Sam and Tara's roommate. We then have got Hayden Pantiera back as Kirby Reed. Right, um, Samara Weaving plays Laura Crane. Dum, dum, dum. Dermot Mal- 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 Bailey, Quinn's 
dad? Who else do we have? Uh, Tony Revolori plays Jason Carvey. Um, Andre Anthony plays Frankie. Matthew Gufadia plays Paul. Um, Dr. Christopher Stone is played by Henry Chesney. Thomas Hadrot plays Brooks. And... Do 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 oh, Ski Altrix appears as Billy Lomas and Jack Quaid as Richie um oh, whatever homie's name is. Richie uh gosh Kirsch. That's it. So yes, they pick up those roles as well. Now the gist of the film. Right, so it says it picks up after the events of Scream 5 with Sam, Tara, Mindy, and Chad having re relocated to New York to try and move on after surviving the most recent ghost based attack. However, they soon learn that the big city isn't big enough as a new iteration of the killer is out to get them. Oh. I should also say that the voice of Goface is Roger Jackson. So, yeah, that's uh, that's the gist, right? That's the gist. Now, I've watched the first two, right? Watched the first two. And, you know, Scream was the first meta kind of, oh, let's look and laugh at ourselves type of horror film, if I recall, so it was like, okay, that's fine, I remember watching Screen 2 and just being like, okay, I can't, I can't, so I haven't checked out 3, 4, or 5, and I think watching 6, it reminded me of the reasons why I haven't checked out those previous screens. Oh, my gosh. Now, it starts off, right? It, 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 but this is a big thing. I, I'd heard that this does things differently, right? It's adding different things to the mix. So I'm like, okay, okay. And we, we start off, and this whole killing, there's, there's a killing at the beginning, right? Obviously. But... Ghostface takes the mask off, and you're like, okay, something ain't, because it doesn't make sense for us to know who fucking Ghostface is from Jump, right? That's going to spoil it. So, obviously, there's either multiple Ghostfaces, or this is something else. Right, that that that's the fault, and then those answers become clear. Those answers become clear. Now, I will say, right, it is weird to have cameras inside your house. Right, I, I just think, why are you having cameras inside your house? Right, the only kind of thing that you know kind of makes sense is like the baby cam. But that's usually a portable thing, right? So you move it around wherever the baby is. You put that so you can monitor. It's not just fixed in one room per se. So, yeah, there's a bit. There's multiple cameras. And, yeah, weird. Kind of weird. Kind of odd. But we have all of these people that have been in multiple situations. Multiple situations. So... They understand, right, all the issues with these franchises, like with horror, you know, all the tropes, and all, they get that, right? So it's just like, um, you know, splitting up, stay in a group, you know, just there's, there's things that make no sense. But we have people doing things that make no sense, like just the, the situation at the very start of the film, I'm like, 
there was no need for the person to do the thing they did. There's literally just no need. It is very bizarre. Very bizarre. And here's a big thing. <laughs> right? You know, uh, as you see in the, uh, you know, looking at the credits. So Sam and Tara have Quinn as a roommate. Chad has Ethan as a roommate. I wanted to know, why the fuck didn't they just all live together? There's four of them, right? So you can get a spot with four rooms. Share. Like, if you have difficulty trusting other people, that solves that. Right? I don't understand why they just didn't do that. I'm baffled. Right? I, I would have liked that to have been mentioned, right? Because surely that answers so many questions. It, you know, it fixes, fixes things. But you, you just have all of these different instances of things going on. Now, there is something that happens in the film early-ish on, which then is like we kind of find out something towards the end. But if you think about it, it doesn't make any sense. I don't know how that works out. Because, yeah, it, 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 it's just like, it doesn't really make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. Because you wouldn't, you wouldn't have to do it. Yeah, it, it's just a weird thing, but I can't talk about it. But it's just one instance early on in the film that we then get clarification on towards the end of the film, people. That's all I can tell you. But yeah, there's just a lot of these, a lot of these things. I think one of the big reasons was I saw a clip of this film and Ghostface uses a gun, which again, that seemed different, right? And you just think, yeah, that's more economical than the knife, right? Easier. You think that's what a killer would do? Use a gun. Say wood is not a good defense for a gun. Bullets can go well. Will pretty much easily go through wood. So there's a, there is bits where people would jump behind like wooden things. It's just like no, no, no. It's not going to help you. That's not going to help you. <laughs> you just. I think it, it, it's just the, the, like, the situation, like, traveling. There's a bit when they're like, oh, travel in public, because that makes it you so you'd be safer. And it's just like, how, how does that make it safer? If you're in a huge group of people, it would be easy for you to get, you know, in murk. Is not because you're so cramped together, no one's necessarily going to know if you're, uh, you know, as long as you're not screaming out. But even someone's screaming, weird people scream. So it's, it's not like, you know, what I mean, living in a big metropolis, like it's something you've come across before, just people suddenly start screaming for no reason. So even that, not necessarily going to get people be like, what's going on? What? You know, so. Like, you just think, no, 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 we will all drive together. That is the safest fucking way. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, there's some, there's, there are some real goofy, goofy things happening. Or let's go to this location. That will be good. Be like, how, how would that be? Good? That doesn't make any sort of sense. Uh, like, obviously, we get this big twist at the end, which there's an aspect of it that isn't that surprising. And it is some, it was something I was mulling over. 
Now, I will say the other components of it are, but that's more from some lying with the camera. I, I don't think it was necessarily the story that was made you go, oh, shit. But no, it was just literally the way it shot because they're showing certain things in certain places which then makes it impossible for someone to have done something. But then they're like, oh, but they did that thing. So you're just like, hmm, yeah, I don't know about that. That's weird. That's weird. Acting is fine. It's nothing, like, sensational, right? No, like, no performances where you're like, yo. I felt those emotions, you know, because this is just teens. I can't do that. Oh, oh, you, you shouldn't have said, oh, but it's all of that, right? So we're not getting anything like, yo, you just rocked my world with that performance, son. So it's fine. Like cinematography, all of that, it's, it's fine. Right, we go a little crazy on, you know, flickering lights and and that kind of thing. I, I, I imagine if you're a huge fan of the franchise, if you like those films, this will be, work for you. So any of the screams, you know, I know what you did last summer, scary movie, anything like that will have you with this. But I, it was it was trying to be way too clever. I felt, and now we're all getting the whole. It's a legacy film. It's not just a franchise. It's a legacy film, right? Which means this and this and this. You know, it's just like oh, even main characters could die, right? And we just get all of that, and. The way everyone's talking about it, you're just like, what the fuck? Huh? You're not all talking about... It, it's like those things, you know, like with Dawson's Creek, where everyone talks the same. And you're just like, not... You, you, don't, you don't get a friend group where everyone is a complete mirror. Now, you can get people who pretend to be mirrors, like politically, be like, oh, yeah, I believe in that. But they're not exactly the same. Where everyone is like, oh, yes, if this was the sequel, then blah, blah, blah. You're just like, what the fuck are you talking? This is, this is moronic. you all going, oh, yeah, if it's a franchise, that means this person could be. And you're like, yo, chill, chill. Like, even the end credit scene, trying to be too smart, right? But you're like, but you just did the thing that you were trying to mock, where if you were real smart, it would have been straight away, right? You're not leaving it to the end. You're doing it literally straight away. You know what I mean? Like end. Nah, not quite. Boom. End. You know, roll credits. That is the thing. It's just like doing it the way you did it. You're not really being meta. Now, you're not really trying, you're not being clever. It's just pointless, right? Just pointless. And people, you don't need to watch it, right? I, I just left it, the TV running while I went and made a coffee. And then suddenly this bit plays, right? Otherwise, I would have just switched it off. And yeah, you do not need to watch the credits. It's a pointless little bit. But hey. I was, you know, as I said, I didn't watch Screen 5, so I don't know how much of this was done in that film, right? I, I don't know any of those things, like the character dynamics or anything like that. I don't know if people, what sort of wounds people survived, because, yeah, there's certain things you think, if you know you're not surviving that, but I don't know. I do not know. Yeah, I regretted watching this. It is clearly not for me. 
it's not for me. It felt very long, right? It is, um, yeah, just over two hours. It just, it felt longer. I ain't gonna lie, people, it felt longer. But yes, if you like the previous screams, right? I know what you did last summer, just those sorts of films, even stuff like Final Destinations, right? Those teen horror films that want to be mad clever. If that is your bag, Scream 6 could very well work for you. It could work for you. And obviously, it is being set up for a seventh. I think I did hear that it has been green lit, right? And there's a lot of things going on in this film which are like pointing for a certain thing to happen. Which, if that happens, oi, no, no. But I won't be watching Scream 7. I ain't falling for this trap again, motherfuckers. All right? But yeah, Scream 6, it's out. It's on streamers, so... Yeah, enjoy.